Hello and welcome to a short discussion on product and period cost. The classification of cost as a product or period determines when a cost is reported on the income statement. After viewing this video, you will be able to define the three types of product cost, define the four types of period cost, determine if a cost is a product cost or a period cost, and understand that some costs are reported as the asset inventory on the balance sheet until the inventory is sold to customers and then these costs are moved to the income statement and are reported as cost of goods sold. You will also be able to define the three types of inventory, explain that all product costs become a part of work in process, explain that costs that are in WIP become the costs that are in finished goods when the products are completed, and explain that the costs of making finished goods are reported on the income statement as these costs are sold to customers. A cost occurs any time an economic resource is exchanged. A cost is either an asset or an expense. Assets give future economic benefit and are used up over time. Assets are used to produce revenues. An example of a cost that is an asset is a machine. As the machine is used, a portion of the cost becomes an expense. An example of an expense is administrative salaries. Expenses provide benefit in the current period only and any future benefit must be paid for again. The benefit received from an expense is the current period only. There is no future benefit. There are two classifications of cost. The first are called product cost. Product cost are the costs required to make products. Product costs become part of inventory, an asset, until the inventory is sold. This accomplishes the matching principle of reporting the cost in the same period as the revenue. The cost of making products that is included in inventory is reported on the income statement as cost of goods sold in the period the inventory is sold. Period costs are incurred to operate the business and are expensed as they are incurred. Incurred means the service is provided to the company or an asset is used. Remember, the word cost does not automatically mean expense. The first part of the income statement reports profit associated with selling inventory only. Cost of sales is the cost of making the products that were sold to customers. Product costs are recorded inventory first and expensed as cost of goods sold in the period the inventory is sold. This accomplishes the matching principle. Period costs are also called operating expenses. Period costs are expensed in the period the cost is incurred to support the revenue generating process. Product costs are all costs required to manufacture products. There are three types of product cost, direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. The three costs become the asset inventory. No expense is recorded when the inventory is made. All cost to make inventory is reported as cost of goods sold on the income statement when the inventory is sold to customers. Recording the expense when the products are sold reports the expense in the same period as the revenue is reported. Direct materials are the materials that become part of the product that cost enough to track how much of the materials are used to make one product. When it costs more to track how much material is used than the benefit of knowing this information, a company will not track the cost to make one. Materials that are not tracked are called indirect materials. We will discuss indirect materials later in this video when we discuss manufacturing overhead. In order for a cost to be a direct cost, the company must be able to track how much is used and how much it costs to make each product. Direct labor is the second product cost. Direct labor consists of workers who make the product either by manually assembling the products or by operating the machine that makes the products. Supervisors are not directly involved in making the products and are indirect labor, which is included in manufacturing overhead. Manufacturing overhead is the cost of the manufacturing facility and the cost of managing the production process. If the cost is incurred at the manufacturing plant and is not direct material or direct labor, it is part of manufacturing overhead. The words factory, plant, or manufacturing 
are used to describe a cost that indicates that the cost is part of manufacturing overhead. All costs that occur in the manufacturing area are product cost. Manufacturing overhead costs are incurred while making many products. It is not possible to determine exactly how much cost is incurred to make just one product. It is not possible to see these costs go into the products. These costs are usually paid weekly or monthly. Costs related to the manufacturing facility and manufacturing management are classified as manufacturing overhead. Take a moment to read the examples. All indirect manufacturing costs are included in manufacturing overhead. This includes indirect labor and indirect materials. Indirect materials and indirect labor are product costs that are required to make the product. However, the same amount is not required to make each product or the company cannot or does not quantify how much is required to make just one product. Let's talk for a minute about period cost. Period costs are costs that are not required to make the product. Costs to operate the business and acquire and support customers are period costs. Period costs are reported as operating expenses on the income statement. Warehouse costs and costs to move inventory around are period costs. Some would argue that it requires a warehouse for direct materials and people to move the direct materials around to make the product. Others argue that this is not an integral required part of making the product. This is a gray area and the general rule that is followed is warehouse cost and inventory control cost are reported as period cost. The cost of shipping the products to customers is also a period cost. Take a moment to read through these examples. So why does it matter if a cost is a product cost or a period cost? The classification of the cost as a product cost or a period cost determines when the cost is reported on the income statement. Product costs go to inventory first and are reported on the income statement as cost of goods sold only when inventory is sold. Period costs are reported on the income statement in the period they are incurred. Manufacturers report three types of inventory on their balance sheets. Direct materials are materials that are not yet on the production line. Direct materials are stored in the direct materials warehouse. Work in process represents cost of partially completed products that remain on the production line at the end of the period. Work in process consists of direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead costs combined. Finished goods represents the cost of products that are in the finished goods warehouse ready to be sold to customers. Direct material placed on the production line becomes work in process. Manufacturing overhead is incurred as direct labor works on the production line supervised by manufacturing management in the manufacturing facility. All the product costs in work in process move to finished goods when products are complete and ready for sale. This is a visual picture of the flow of product cost into inventory. Let's begin on the left side. Direct materials are stored in the direct materials warehouse until they are moved to the production line. The production line in the middle is where the cost of making products occur. Direct materials are moved to the production line and direct labor works on the production line and uses direct materials to make products. The cost of direct materials and direct labor becomes the cost of inventory called work in process. Manufacturing overhead, the cost of the facilities and management, are also costs to make the product and these are added to work in process. The cost of all finished products becomes part of finished goods inventory and are stored in the finished goods warehouse, this is on the right, until goods are shipped to customers. The cost of the goods sold to the customer is reported on the income statement only when the cost of goods are sold. After viewing this video, you should be able to define the three types of product cost, 
define the four types of period cost, and determine if a cost is a product cost or a period cost. You should understand that product costs are reported as the asset inventory on the balance sheet until the inventory is sold to customers, and then these same costs are moved to the income statement and are reported as cost of goods sold. You should also be able to define the three types of inventory and understand that all product costs become part of work in process first. You should understand that costs that are in WIP become the costs that are in finished goods when the products are completed. You will also understand that the cost of making finished goods are reported on the income statement only as cost of goods sold when products are sold to customers. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. The practices you learn will give you examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Write out the answers and then check your answers to the ones that are provided. Please write them out. It will help you really get it. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.